To his surprise, an angry tiger suddenly sprung up from the water and tried to lash onto the boat. Tigers, the largest of all cats, have gained a lot of popularity since they were first discovered many years ago. You don't want to encounter one of these animals in the wild because they are big, ferocious, and fast. They are one of the world's apex predators and are naturally aggressive, which is why they are feared by both humans and animals. Human encounters with tigers are not that unusual since tigers have been widely studied by different people worldwide. However, some tiger encounters may not go well due to their natural aggressiveness and tendencies to attack potential prey. Today's video will feature three different stories from real people about their most intense and bone-chilling encounters with the largest feline existing. Story 1 Our first story takes us to a tiger reserve inside the Bandhavgar National Park in India. Every year, thousands of tourists and even locals visit this place to get a chance to meet tigers up close through their tiger safari tours. Visitors can ride open safari vehicles into one of the six tiger reserves in the national park. This gives them a once-in-a-lifetime chance to take pictures of giant cats walking right past them. In search of stunning footage of tigers for his next tiger blog, Ansel Miller traveled from America to India's Bandhavgar National Park to go on a tiger safari. He's invested in tigers and always wants to visit places where they offer opportunities for tiger viewing. Ansel rode an open safari vehicle along with eight other tourists. He wanted to get as much tiger footage as possible and get up close with the large cats. The safari vehicle is an open roof Land Rover offering seats for six to eight passengers in the back. The vehicle started to move into the tiger reserve. The driver told passengers to get ready as Ansel prepared his cameras. He was sitting on the edge of the seats to get the best footage. The safari vehicle moved slowly to give the tourists their chance to take as many pictures as they wanted of the tigers. Upon entering, several tigers resting on the grass in the distance greeted Ansel and the tourists. He turned on his camera immediately and started taking pictures for his tiger blog. The tigers were all relaxed and plopped down on the grass, staring at the safari vehicle. The driver decided to move forward to give the tourists a closer look at the resting tigers. Ansel grabbed a selfie stick from his bag to get more intimate pictures of the tigers and stretched it out a few inches away. He pressed the shutter button at the handle of the selfie stick to snap photos as the vehicle moved closer and closer to where the tigers were resting. Now they are only a few feet away from the large cats. Ansel realized his camera wasn't tightly attached to the selfie stick and it suddenly fell to the ground. He attempted to reach it by using the selfie stick and extending it to its maximum length. Still, the camera wouldn't move any closer. He asked the vehicle driver not to move forward as he would do everything to get his camera back. He suddenly got down from the vehicle, making the tourists scream in surprise. The tigers were startled by their noise as one of them got up on their legs and started to walk in Ansel's direction. Ansel didn't mind the tiger slowly approaching him. He carefully grabbed his camera and sprinted back to the safari vehicle as the tiger growled and chased him. Without pausing to breathe, he rushed as quickly as possible before leaping onto the safari vehicle and ordering the driver to move. The tiger approached the vehicle as soon as it began to move. It attempted to grab Ansel, and fortunately, it only managed to scratch Ansel's arm. Ansel screamed in pain as the safari driver sped up and drove the vehicle out of the reserve as fast as possible to escape the angry tiger. They immediately rushed Ansel to the nearby clinic to clean and treat the wound. Story 2 the second story involves two Bangladeshi fishermen, Madhur and Ahir. The two of them were partners in fishing, and they had a small boat together, which they always used to go to the river to catch fish. Madhur and Ahir were always aware that the river is also known for tigers. They spotted a few tigers on the riverbanks and swam in the waters. Still, they are always lucky to avoid danger and get away safely. Until one day, the two of them were fishing at their usual spot. Unfortunately, there were little to no fish in the area. 
Ahir suggested they should head back and go fishing another day, but Madhur demanded they continue fishing, as this would affect their business. Ahir agreed and decided to go to an area they usually don't visit. Luckily, they caught more than a few fish and headed back immediately when Madhur asked if they could take a quick rest at the boat. Ahir scanned the area for potential dangers, such as crocodiles or tigers, but found none. Madhur then decided to take a little nap as Ahir stood guard. After a short while, Madhur was still sleeping when Ahir noticed something strange about the water. The waters were calm just a while ago, and now it looked like something was moving underneath. Ahir thought it was just a crocodile passing by, so he sat still and didn't move a muscle. He observed the waters and saw it was calm again, which relieved him for a brief moment. To his surprise, an angry tiger suddenly sprung up from the water and tried to lash onto the boat. Madhur immediately woke up to the sudden attack and was surprised to see a tiger trying to thrash Ahir with its front paw. Ahir tried his best to shrug the tiger off his body and pleaded for Madhur to start the boat's engine already. Madhur started the boat and he grabbed a paddle and began to hit the side of the boat to scare the tiger away. The tiger was so alarmed by the boat's engine and paddle that it swam away as soon as the boat began to move ahead. Ahir heaved a sigh of relief upon getting away from the tiger. Madhur decided to check on Ahir and saw that the tiger attack caused minor cuts and lacerations on his arms and hands. The two of them promised never to return to that area again. Story 3 the last story follows an explorer named Ethan Cole on his trip to the Sundarbans to film a documentary about the villages situated within the riverbanks and forests. He stumbled upon Joimani village in Pashur, a river bordering the forest. Ethan decided to spend a few days in the small village with his team of two other explorers, Annie and Jonathan. They got along with the village residents to learn more about their lifestyle, way of living, habits, and everyday activities for the documentary. This time, Ethan wanted to learn how the people in the village hunt for food. One villager named Faraj decided to take Ethan, Annie, and Jonathan to the nearby forest to show them how the Joimani villagers hunt for food. Ethan agreed as the four embarked on a journey to the woods to start hunting. Ethan noticed that Faraj had attached a wooden torch to his back and asked why he had to bring a torch if it was still morning. Faraj told them that he always carries a wooden torch to scare off potential enemies in the wild. The three explorers got curious about what enemies Faraj was talking about, but they just decided to continue following him around the forest. Their hunt was just as peaceful and fascinating, as they suddenly heard noises around them. Faraj, being the one in front, signaled that the three of them should stay still and quiet as he said so. Ethan, Annie, and Jonathan did as Faraj had told them. A tiger walked out of the bushes, staring at the four of them. Faraj grabbed the wooden torch from his back and asked Ethan if he had any matches or anything that could light up the torch. He then handed it to Faraj to light up the torch. This is to scare away the tiger. You three should just stay calm, Faraj told them as they slowly walked backwards while the tiger moved forward in their direction. The tiger started growling aggressively. Faraj's hands were shaking. As the tiger was about to jump and attack Faraj, he successfully lit up the wooden torch using the lighter. He swayed it in front of the tiger. The tiger was startled by the fire and hesitant to go near Faraj and the explorers. Every time it tried to charge them, Faraj sways the torch closer to scare it away, and the tiger will terrifyingly resist. After a few moments, Faraj successfully scared the tiger away, and the four returned to the village. Still in shock, Ethan was amazed and scared by what he had just encountered in the forest earlier. They wouldn't have made it out of the forest unharmed if it weren't for Faraj's courageousness and wooden torch. <laughs>